it's okay to suck. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And, um, okay, so let's just get into it. So, what am I talking about? Uh, first time you do anything, it's going to be awful. So, I really don't even want to play this, but if you've seen my first video, it's bad. Um, how I sound, my organization of thought, the quality of the video, everything about it is bad. So the reason why I bring this up is we could go back <clears throat> and even start to, so uh, we go back and even the document, the documenting of my first videos that I was sharing and how I lined out the way that I wrote the Python like here's a perfect example uh, if I would have done something this early on I probably would have had extra steps or extra variables but my overall point the overarching point of of this video is the first time you do anything it's going to be really 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 bad and you need to get okay with that because the next time you do something it's gonna be a little less bad and less bad and less bad so I've started a new hobby since now my old hobby is my job um, we could talk about a variety of things when I first started writing SQL all of these things have happened here recently and they were bad my SQL was bad now it's pretty good my joins are better they're still not great my boss can write amazing optimized SQLs. sometimes I'll have to write a subquery to cheat and get along but it works and it's better than my first subqueries I used to have multiple multiple subqueries now I can do it in one or two my visual basic code used to be atrocious now it's palatable um, and this new hobby I have uh, I'm a little less bad so I don't know if you have ever heard of the writer um, uh, and Andrew Sorkin he wrote a television series and I got to see a workshop of him when he was helping uh, future screenwriters they literally turned around on the board and he said let's get out the 10 worst ideas and I've n I've never forgotten that but I never really understood what that exercise was and it's to get the creativity going because your first and to really embrace really hug that it's going to be bad when you first do it but for you to know this and be comfortable and to keep going and taking other steps one more thing to think about there's an old sales salesman line and understanding that a that a salesman understands that they're going to need to talk to 10 people to make one sale so let me explain that what that really means is that it's just at bats they understand that the first nine people they're going to talk to aren't going to be the right fit it's not that they're going to say no it's those aren't the right fit so it's at bats so when you first write your first piece of code it's going to be awful or the first speech you're going to go give it's going to be awful the first video you make it's going to be awful and it's going to get a little less awful and that's the point you're going to do these things and you're going to get better and better and better that after a hundred times you might be actually pretty good this is my thousandth something video and I think they're about average now so what I'm looking forward to is my 2000th video my 3000th video they might actually be really really good and that's what I'm excited about is the journey and you have to be excited about the journey because if you're thinking you're just going to show up and be good at something you may be but more than likely you're not and you have to get okay with that and I promise the faster you get okay with that the better you're going to get at this task whatever this task is so just wanted to hand out some encouragement today uh, I know I rambled a little bit there at the beginning but this is very these topics like this are very important to me because I am the absolute epitome of a late bloomer and but 
I get up every day and I do mostly the same thing and I try a little bit more of things that absolutely scare the living life out of me. But it's less scary, less scary, less scary, less scary until you're just doing stuff all the time that are so quote unquote out of the ordinary because I understand that everything I do is hard for me. So on the other side of the coin, nothing is hard for me. It just takes me time. And that's what that jump was. I wasn't good at school. I wasn't good at reading. I'm awful at spelling. was not good at public speaking because I had a stutter. The thoughts running through my head were just rampant. So get okay with not being good. It's okay. But it's not okay to keep trying, to not keep trying. There we go. All right. So those are my thoughts on this, but it's okay to suck. That's it. That's that's the lesson for today. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, video requests down below. Hope you're joining the Discord server. We have a lot of chats going on over there. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.